2012 Guilford Varsity Lacrosse game highlights versus the Notre Dame Fighting Irish of West Haven. The Fighting Irish come in 7 and 5 on the season while the Guilford Indians are 6 and 5. Early on we got John Lisitano. He's out to Jack Fitzgerald and Fitzgerald back to Lisitano. Lisitano steps inside, fires a shot, and he scores. That'll make it one nothing Guilford. Here's Andrew DePatty working. Nice stick check. Takes the ball out. Still working hard. And takes the turnover. Later on in the same possession, John Lusitano driving on net. Scoots it over to Andrew DePatty. An outside inside move. Fires and scores. That makes it 2-0 Guilford. Next up, Notre Dame gets the ball. And on a drive of their own, they're coming down hard and fast on Bobby Noonan. But guess what? Bobby Noon is there for the save. It starts to get a little physical as the ball is bouncing around. John Lissitano with a nice check and then follows it with a nice stick check. And Casey Horton picks up the turnover. Notre Dame is moving the ball around. But up steps Tyler Nelson, T. Nelly they call him. And he makes the interception. Now Billy Ring on a faceoff. And he wins it as he did most of the day today. He advances the ball for a dump off. He's got one inside, and that's Zach Catarusa, who just turns around and fires and scores with just six seconds left in the first quarter. It was great teamwork and a great assist by Billy Ring. Coach Brian White, got to like what he's seeing. Billy Ring inside. Casey Horton and Shane Fonticello on a simultaneous stick check. They create the turnover. John Lusitano driving in. He's inside all by himself. Just drops it down low and he scores. Duke Knapp advances it up to Billy Ring. Billy Ring over to John Lusitano who cuts inside. Fires it back over his shoulder to A.J. Wilcox who fires a heat seeking missile and he scores. A.J. Wilcox. From John Lissitano on the assist. Coach White still working with the troops. They trot out. And AJ Wilcox puts it inside the T Nelly. T Nelly over to Kevin Carrigal. Kevin Carrigal on a slow bounce inside, and he scores the goal. At this point, it's six to one Indians with seven seconds left in the half. Billy Ring makes a move inside, approaches the goal, fires and scores all by himself. Billy Ring scores with three seconds left in the half. And that'll make it 7-1 to one Guilford. In the second half, Guilford comes out. Andrew DePatty on a move. Nice juke moves. Fires and slings it in. And he scores. It's off the net. Pounces out, but Andrew DePatty gets the goal. It's 8-1 Guilford. Bobby Noonan proves he's up to the test as he stops a close range goal here with 8-12 left in the second half. Number 13, Tyler Nelson and Shane Fossell team up on a Notre Dame offensive player while Duke Knapp scoops it up and starts taking off. He runs through defenders in and out. Great cuts and you can see why he's running back on the football team. Unfortunately, the goalie stops his coast to coast. On a great offensive drive by one of the Notre Dame players, Bobby Noonan handles another blast. Notre Dame still moving the ball around, and Bobby's still up to the task. This time, he pops out really quick with a great lead pass to Zach Catarusa or to AJ. Back to Catarusa. Catarusa fires and scores. Gilbert just on a roll at this point. Great play, teamwork, and assist by AJ Wilcox. It's 9 1 Gilbert. Kevin Carrickle gets physical with a nice check, and right behind him, Tyler Nelson comes in with a bomb. Notre Dame works to get open, but number 29, Fred Trotta, uses his head literally to stop a goal. Next up, Zach Cataruza shows his team what good stick work can do. Watch as he uses his stick here. It just wouldn't be right if we didn't include. John Knapp, my friend and colleague, 
as he endures the rain and cold to get the press box video. Bobby Noonan stops another point blank attack. And now John Lusitano, he's driving again. This time he pushes it back to Casey Horton, who drives of his own and fires and scores between two defenders. The game's getting away from Notre Dame at this point, but Casey's got another drive in him. Right by the defenders and right in between, and he scores his second goal of the game. Casey makes it 11-3 Guilford. So with eight minutes left in the game, Bobby Noonan with yet another great save. This time he pushes it out to Duke Knapp. Duke breaks the double team, and with some great teamwork and passing, down to Jack Fitzgerald, and back over to Kevin Carrigal. Kevin Carrigal scores, and that is the final score of the game, and it's 12-3 Guilford. Still, it wouldn't be right if we didn't show you this great stick work by Zach Catarusa. Great effort. Zach pulls a turnover. And you also have to see Matt Horton, number 12, causing a turnover. He's a freshman, folks. And as if the Notre Dame varsity didn't take enough punishment today, Duke Knapp steps up with a thundering check to punctuate the end of the game. Guilford wins it 12-3.